Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you all the DNS codes that you can use on your PS5. So these work pretty much great and you can all use them. And this will get you better internet connection and the best internet connection possible sometimes. It also fixes some problems and stuff like that. So let's just get straight into this video and don't waste time. So first off, you just want to go over to settings on here and then go over to network. Go on settings and click on setup internet connection over here. So this is a little bit different than the PS4 and let's just wait. And now you just want to select the internet connection that you're using. It could be maybe a LAN cable, wired or just Wi-Fi. So for me, it's this one and you want to go over to advanced settings. On here, what you do is you just want to go over to DNS settings. So on yours, guys, it's going to look like this automatic. But what you want to do is you just want to change it back to manual. And now you can just fill in a DNS code. So like you see on my screen, I'm already using this DNS code over here. And you can also copy that and even pause the video if you want to. So you can just pause the video and just copy the DNS code that I have right now. And I'm going to show you a lot more DNS codes that you can also use, guys. So let's go. And by the way, guys, what I recommend you guys to do is once you fill in a new DNS code like I'm doing right now. So once you fill a new DNS code in, you want to test your internet connection. And after trying all of these DNS codes and testing your internet connection, what you want to do is you just want to stick with the DNS codes that gets the best internet connection possible. So what you do is you just want to click on OK. So let's just say I want to use 1.1.1, this one. And this is from Cloudflare. And it will just test out, connect into internet. And like you see, it just basically worked out. So what you want to do is you just want to go to connection status on here. You want to go over to test internet connection. Start test. So on here, what you want to look for is connection speed downloads and connection speed uploads. So let's just say that we get 15, 20, 30. Let's just say how much we are going to get. And please, guys, if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me out. Thank you so much. So like you see, I got about 46 megabits of download speed and the connection speed is 3 Mbps. So it's quite good. Like, for example, if you want to get a good internet connection, I would say get at least about 20 Mbps. It also matters on the lo location where you live. For example, some DNS codes doesn't work great. Like it all depends on the location where you're from. For example, if the DNS code doesn't work great for you, try using a new DNS code and eventually you will find one that will actually work great for you. So let's just leave here and let's go back to settings and show you some other DNS codes. And also, guys, I'm going to show you another tip, what you can do if you don't want to use a DNS code anymore. So what you want to do is you want to go to advanced settings. And now what you want to do is you want to switch the DNS settings to automatic and click on OK. So what will this actually do? It will just get rid of the DNS and it won't use a DNS anymore. So that's also an option what you can basically do. And let's just go to the next DNS code that I can show you guys. So for the next one, the primary DNS is going to be 8 doc 26 56 26. And guys, there's like no wrong at all, because if I type something wrong in, for example, like this, it won't actually enter in. Or if it's like a wrong DNS code, it won't actually work out. So all of these DNS codes are working for the PlayStation 5 and you can use them, all of them. And it's basically for free. So also guys, comment down below which DNS code works the best for you. And like I said, guys, it all matters on the location where you're from. And now you can just pause and just enter the DNS. I'll give you some time, man. Enough time. Okay. Uh, now you can just click on OK and see how it works out, how it goes, basically. And let's go to the next one. So now we are going to use 
1.6 and this is from DNS Advantage the earlier one was from Kamado Secure DNS and the ATAG ATAG 8 is from Google itself so those are the DNS codes that I used in this video right now so this one is gonna be 144 Okay, there's something wrong what I did here It's this <coughs> And my voice is pretty much gone because I'm a bit sick like you hear it on my voice. So let's click on OK. And now you can just test your internet connection. So now let's go to the next one over two seconds. And let's go. So this one is from Dyn. Here you go. And here we have it. And also guys, don't enter the same DNS that you entered on the primary DNS because if you look closely, there's a little bit of a difference. For example, on here you see 35 and on here it's just 36. Now let's go to the next one. So basically, like I said, these are all the best DNS codes that you can use on your PS5. And this one is 35 here. All right. And here we have. And this is free DNS, the DNS profiler. And the same DR DNS was 37. Here you go. You can just click on OK and test it out. Let's go to the next one. And this one is from level 3. Let's go. And like I said, guys, I recommend you guys to try all of them out and see which one works the best for you. Always do that, guys, and always test your internet connection uh, once you're done entering the DNS code, basically. Here you go. Let's go to the next one. And this is from OpenDNS. And don't forget guys, if you have a question, just leave it in the comments down below. Okay, there's something wrong what I did. So let's change it. And yeah, it's this one. So now you can click on OK and test it out for yourself. So let's go to the next one. And remember, guys, you can just pause the video if you want to. So this one is going to be from Open NIC. And what's pretty great is about the PlayStation 5 controller that it just doesn't make that much sound. If I were to type it with a PS4 controller, it would make so much sound, guys. So that's pretty great. 
Oh, there's something wrong. Let's change it. So it's 28. And like I said, guys, if you think I'm entering maybe the wrong DNS code, it won't happen because if you pretty much enter a wrong DNS code, it will just won't work and it will just say error or something like that. So all of them work. There's no problem at all. And now what you can do is you can also click on OK. So now let's go to the next one. We are basically almost done. I only have like about three DNS codes, I think, to show you. I have so much DNS codes remembered just in my head by just always using them. It works pretty great. What you also can do is you can also fix some games. And what do I mean with that? Sometimes what happens is on my GTA 5, for example, I get some error or I just get into a public lobby, but I'm the only one in that public lobby. So what I do, I just change my DNS codes and just fix it. And that's pretty great. So you can also use this as a fixing method if it happens like on GTA 5 lobbies that you just join in and you're the only one in. So this is also pretty much a fixing method. 4371. Here you go. Now you can just click on OK. Two more DNS codes to show you. This one is pretty easy. I got it from my head. Here you go. Now just click on OK. And now let's go to the last DNS code. Here you go. So this was pretty much the last DNS codes that I want to show you. Now let's just click, oh, ah, I forgot to click on OK, but never mind. you can just enter that again. But what you can do basically is just go ahead, go to your connection status and click on test internet connection and see how it works out for you. And this was pretty much the end of the video guys. These were all the DNS codes that I pretty much know and work the best actually. So you can try all of them out, these work pretty great for internet connection, download speed, upload speed, or just playing a random game like GTA 5, Cyberpunk Online. So this was the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you want to follow me, you can just follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And also, you can join my Discord server that will be also in the description. And you can just like the video and also subscribe maybe. And also, guys, fill in the best DNS codes that you know and that you are using pretty much. So thanks for watching and goodbye.